All right, today, so I'm giving you updates on products number 91 through 100 that I've reviewed here at Freakin' Reviews, so let's get started. The Miracle Bamboo Pillow, which I'm using right now to prop myself up with. Now, I didn't really like it so much as a pillow for my head. The Miracle Bamboo Pillow says basically if you want a hard pillow to fold it in half, a firm pillow to lay it flat, or a soft pillow to lay it on its side. I mean, I feel completely ridiculous laying like this. I feel like I've got some weird hat on or something. But it is actually my go-to pillow when I want to sit up in bed, such as right now I'm having some back problems and working on my laptop. The Miracle Bamboo Pillow has a lot of support for my back. It may not be the ideal pillow for me, but it's a great back support. The 92nd product I reviewed is Finishing Touch Flawless. This is a single head razor that's marketed to women. They don't really use the word razor in the marketing, but that's what it is. But that doesn't matter because most women that I know who have used it have liked it, including the commenters here and on my website. I loaned it out, haven't got it back yet because the person that's using it doesn't want to part with it. So Finishing Touch Flawless, I think, does a pretty good job. This is the Multi-Cut, which is a versatile cutting tool, a three-in-one tool. You can use it as a cutter, you can use it as a wire cutter, and you can switch this over back here and use it like an X-Acto knife. See how it hangs over there? I like the fact that the blades are contained inside the handle so you don't ever lose them. Um, I've been pretty happy with it. I mainly use it as an X-Acto knife. I haven't used the cutting features as much, but I think it, for what it is, it's a pretty good job. It's a lot like a craftsman tool. I think it's called the Handy Cut. But I think for what it is, it's not a bad product. The 94th product that I reviewed is the Bell & Howell eCharge Wallet. This is the wallet that charges your phone and also holds all your cards and cash. Now my problem with this is that, well the charge gives you about half of a charge on an iPhone 7 Plus. But the problem is that when you put cards and cash in there, it doesn't really stay closed if you put more than about four cards in there. One card in each slot. What? I didn't really use it much because it really wasn't that functional for me. Next up on my list is the Bell & Howell light bar. Now right now I'm currently working on a review of Repel Well and I'm Got some items laid out here, and as you see, I'm using the light bar, which I use quite regularly for auxiliary lighting um, when I'm filming these videos. It actually made my top 10 list for my best products 2017, so I do find a lot of uses for the Bell & Howell light bar. The sock slider is number 96 of the products that I reviewed. I don't really find this is one that's very useful to me. In fact, right now I'm currently suffering from some back problems and I still don't use this because it doesn't seem like it really gains me anything. In fact, sometimes I have to move it around so much that it makes it worse. Here's some clips from my original sock slider review. Ah, there you go. Okay, well that one pretty good. This is Star Shower Window Wonderland. It's a holiday projector. And for my original review, I had it projected on that window right there. I didn't like the fact that it took up my only window that faced the street. So I brought it back here to test out again Star Shower Slideshow, Star Shower Laser Magic, Star Shower Motion, and Points of Light. I mean, it, it's pretty dim, but it does work. I mean, compare that to the Star Shower Slideshow. And to me, the Star Shower Motion is the worst of the bunch. In fact, I just put it in my worst of 2017 list. The clips are short. The display is dim, the audio is inside, the display is outside, it's just, it doesn't work for me. I think maybe if they improve a little bit, it might be okay in the future. To me, Window Wonderland, not a good product. This is Color Doctor. It is a color-coded blood pressure monitor that you wear on your wrist. Now the problems I had with it during my review, I've continued to have with it. Those being that the readings aren't always accurate and that the 
wristband doesn't always deflate when I turn it off. Stopped at 63 over 30, which that can't be right. It hasn't released the pressure on my wrist, even though it's turned off already. So I might have to take the batteries out or something. I think Color Doctor is probably okay if you just want a quick reading, but I wouldn't put too much confidence in the accuracy of the readings. So you gotta be careful as far as that goes. It's kind of expensive at $40, although I found it on sale for about half that. I'm not sure if Color Doctor is really ready for prime time. Next up is the Hurricane Fur Wizard. This is a product that I use all the time. Now the lint brush itself may not be so spectacular, but to me the base that automatically cleans it off so you can keep going is what makes this a special product. This made my top 10 of 2017 and for good reason. And here's some clips from my original review. Ooh. Oh, look at that. Better Sponge is the 100th product that I review here on this channel. Unfortunately, it just recently made my bottom of 2017 list. And why is that? Because I think a sponge should be able to absorb liquid and the Better Sponge has no absorbent properties. Now I have found some uses for it. Sometimes I use it as a scrubber, it's okay as a scrubber. Sometimes I use it as a jar opener, it's okay as a jar opener. But I use it as a pot holder more than anything else and it's not bad, it's at least the purple one. These don't really work as pot holders, but the purple one does. So I found some uses for it, but I really don't think it's great as a sponge. Here's a couple clips from my original review. So you can hang it like that. I'm not sure I'd, I would do that, but it is an option. Or you can really do much because it's not, it's not gonna pick it up. Now for this one. All right, actually I can see some, some cheese in there. Can you see that? So there you have it, number 91 through 100. Summer hits, summer misses, and the rest fall somewhere in between. If you wanna see the original reviews, I have links in the description below. I also have links if you wanna purchase them also in the description below. I'll be back in about another month for another 10 product updates. And until then, this is James White with Freaking Reviews. Thank you.